What's up everyone? Welcome back to LSPDFR. Today we are doing Los Santos County Sheriff. Um, now just bear with me. I know the other sheriff units are going to spawn in LSPD uniforms. If you have any ideas on how to fix that, let me know. Um, I can probably look it up myself as well. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and use this uniform for Los Santos County Sheriff. It's under Law and Order. Yeah, it's a park ranger. So if we kind of just ignore what it says on that uh, little patch right there, <laughs> I think we can use this as the uh, LSCSO uniform. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, see what the city has been up to and get on patrol here. We'll start in the Mirror Park area. Right off the bat, our ALPRs are scanning. Looks like that. Uh-oh, naked person running around. How often does this happen in San Andreas? One Adam Six, show me in route. So, 911 reports of a naked person running around. So let's go ahead and uh, make contact. Oh, gee, watch out, dude. All right, yep, there he is right here. Oh, he's running from us. Suspect is on foot. I repeat, suspect is on foot. Let's get some back up here. He's trying to steal a vehicle. No, sir, that's not happening today, dude. Get out. Oh, not my radar gun, bro. No, I'm not going to hurt you, dude. Watch out, they might run you over. <laughs> Oh my god, dude, right off the bat. We have a pursuit. Oh my god, they hit those pedestrians back there. So uh, he's uh, getting Grand Theft Auto fleeing her attempt to elude. Making a right turn onto Spanish Avenue, heading westbound. We're on uh, Meteor Street, heading north. He's making a U-turn. Now southbound, Meteor Street. Making a right back onto uh, Spanish Avenue, heading uh, westbound. And going right. We're on Power Street now, heading north. Good Lord above, dude. Making left, we're on um, Vinewood Boulevard now. Did you steal a van? Oh my god. That officer stole a weasel news van, dude. Oh my god. Are you kidding me, dude? Uh. Oh. Making a U-turn, we're still, um, we're... We're on uh, East Eclipse Bull. Oh, there's the lag, dude. Let me tell you, being down here in Los Santos, it gets absolutely chaotic. I'm going to try to pit him here. Traffic conditions are light. Golly, dude. Oh, making another U-turn. All right, uh, we uh, got a little behind. Uh, we got the Weasel News van taking primary. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. This is ridiculous. Dude, you ha you do not have lights and sirens. You should not be driving that. You shouldn't have stolen it in the first place. What the hell? This is it right here. Get the fuck out of the car. Dude, grab your gun. Get out of the car now. Get on the ground. You're going to get tased, dude. There it is. Give it up, dude. Wearing your stupid little tidy whities with the dildo in your holster. What the hell are you doing, dude? Requesting code three back up. They're all gonna leave, so we gotta get back up. What the fuck are you thinking, dude? You got anything on you that's gonna poke me, stick me? A uh, rusty spoon and a small revolver. All right, let's get a pet check on Fred Baker, 10-6, 1978. 
Valid, no active warrants. Oh my god, these cops down in the city, dude, do not know how to drive. Just ran somebody over. They're stealing Weasel News vans. Oh my god. Dude, the city is absolute chaos. That's why I like doing the county, but uh, we got to change it up. <laughs> um, hey, man, what's up? So, yeah, he's uh, got felony attempt to flee elude. Um, definitely indecent exposure, um, public indecency. Um, and Grand Theft Auto as well. He has a rusty spoon on him, too, and a small revolver. So we're going to double check and see if he has a permit for that. Dude, you should get Grand Theft Auto too. Y you stole uh, th the Weasel News van. What the hell? Hello. All right, man. Right now, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say or do can and will be held against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. Okay. Y if you can't afford one, one will be appointed to you by the state of San Andreas. Do you understand these rights? Great. Um, we have to search the vehicle. Because it's uh, getting towed. So let's see if there is anything in here. Several pounds of methamphetamine, dude. I mean, he stole the car. It's, I mean, it's hard to tell whether it's his or the dude that he stole it from. But here is the thing. He was in possession of the vehicle. So he's getting charged with it. I don't care. Target vehicle license plate. Zero, it's seven, not flagged zero, as stolen yet, but five, uh, five, I saw Target it is, with my four. own eyes. It's definitely stolen. Uh, let's get a tow truck here. And uh, we will contact the owner. Um, good grief, dude. You led us on a wild goose chase, man. What the hell were you thinking? All right, let's go ahead. Um, Fred Baker. You do not have a gun permit. Look at that. So unlawful possession. Um, that's going to be felony instead of misdemeanor because you were committing an act, a uh, felony crime. Unlawful possession of a firearm. Um, several pounds of methamphetamine, which is intent to distribute. Um, you get a rusty spoon on him, too. And uh, felony traffic, fleeing or attempt to elude law enforcement, robbery, theft. Um, Grand Theft Auto. I mean, the list goes on and on. Submit charges, all felony charges. Look at that. And not to mention, public arrestable. It's going to be um, public indecency. And that, too, is an arrestable offense, okay? So, um, yeah, you are going to the slam -er. Let me tell you, dude. Holy crap. Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god. Give it a break. All right, Mr. Baker, you're getting a citation today for $480. Uh, that is for your public indecency um, and multiple felony charges. It's going to be felony possession of uh, methamphetamine, intent to distribute, um, felony possession of unlawful, uh, felony unlawful possession of a firearm, felony attempt to flee or elude law enforcement, and felony grand theft auto. So, um, no good, dude. Requesting prison transport. Yeah, so he's going to take him into the station, and we'll get back 10-8 here, but, uh, uh, dude, come, you're gonna get pulled. You got blue underglow, too. You're getting pulled over. Let me tell you. Go ahead and get him out of the car, because I need to pull her... Actually... Let's just go ahead and... Oh, she disappeared! Magicians galore down here in Los Santos today. Let me tell you. She is absolutely lucky. Wherever she got uh, teleported to, she uh, doesn't have to deal with me. Calm down, dude. You sound like a five-year-old toddler crying for cookies and milk or something. Jeez Louise. All right, uh, we're going to go ahead and show the scene code four and get back on patrol here. All right, I've managed to get down here in uh, Davis um, without any uh, call-outs. Oh, you know why? Because it says I'm on traffic stop. I don't know how that happened. Show me, 10 -8. But it uh, looks like nighttime is upon us, so uh, that is when some crazy shit likes to happen. 
How you doing, sugar? I mean, you never know what to expect down here in Davis. Got a bunch of gangs and uh, things like that, so... But if you like this pack, the link to it is in the description down below. It comes with a uh, Explorer, a Tahoe, Crown Victoria. Um, if you look back at my older episodes of LSPDFR, um, I use the Crown Victoria the most. Uh-oh. Oh, well, the car in front of us pinged for something worse. Whenever it's like a bright yellow, it's like nothing too crazy and it's like orange like it is here it's suspended license there it is let's go ahead and uh, stop him and make contact Suspects in the car. In pursuit. oh he's he's fleeing We're gonna call it in Look, over there. another pursuit dude oh my god Requesting backup here. Um, absolute chaos. And then I got to turn off tactics because they will go absolutely ape shit. Speeds are about uh, 70 miles per hour. Heading on to Interstate 5 now. Oh my god, dude. Another wild goose chase. Requesting air support. Where is my backup, dude? They are, like, all down there. Suspect is continuing. Speeds are about 90 to 100 miles per hour. U.S. Route 20. Heading over the, uh, the bridge now. Over, uh, Cypress Flats. I mean, he is way up there, dude. Another wild goose chase. Continuing northbound U.S. Route 20. Speeds are about 70, 80 miles per hour. Oh, my God, dude. Good pit, dude. Excellent pit. Let's try to... Oh, he completely 360 turned around and uh, he spun around and... Jeez Louise. But, I mean, that was a good pit overall. We're westbound, Interstate 2, speeds are about 90, 95, almost 100 miles per hour. Oh my god, dude. Oh, kind of brake checking us there. We're requesting spike strips. Let's try spike strips again and see if they can be effective this time. Fingers crossed. It looks like it might work. Effective. Nice. Good job, dude. Let's box him. Box him, box him, box him. Oh, my God, dude. What are they doing? We're still uh, westbound Interstate 2, heading through the... Uh, the Del Perro Tunnel right now. All this for a suspended license? No, dude. There's got to be something else. You got to have drugs on you or something. Alcohol intoxication. I'm going to try to pit him again. Oh, he's slamming into me, dude. Good lord, dude. I hate trying to pit vehicles in GTA 5. He's losing control. Oh. He's making a right turn. We're on uh, West Eclipse Boulevard now. His uh, rear um, passenger side tire is uh, completely blown out. Making a right now. We're on uh, Bay City Avenue. This is it right here. This has got to be it, dude. No, 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 no. Box them. Shit on a stick the size of the Empire. Yeah, box yourself, dude. Let me... Oh, God, I'm going to get hit by... I'm just going to savor this moment in slow motion because I know I am about to get hit by a car. No, maybe not. 
Get out of the truck now, dude. Get out of the car. Get out. Oh my god, dude. Get out of the car. Get on the ground. Please don't. Yeah, don't. Guess what? We are gonna we're gonna arrest you. You better cover me. And they're all gonna leave. Dude, what the hell were you thinking? You got uh, anything on you that's gonna poke me, stick me? I was gonna originally stop you back there in Davis for, um, suspended license. A terrorist mask and a lockpick. There it is. I mean, what the hell are you doing, dude? Just hanging, you're hanging around, huh? Oh my god. Have you been drinking? You smell alcohol on me? Okay. Show me 10 6. Oh my god, they're not gonna stop honking and... Shit. Shut the fuck up, dude. Get a move on, will ya? I, well, okay, well, I'm trying to conduct a, um, arrest right here. We just chased him for, like... I, well, there's no point. We're gonna do a breathalyzer on him and see if he... Okay, he's not drunk. Let's do a drug swab test on him as well. We just want to rule out intoxication and, uh... Narcotics. Like Alright, now, he's not drunk or under the influence of narcotics, he's just an absolute idiot. So he had a lockpick and a terrorist mask on him. Um, is there anything in the vehicle we should be uh, concerned about? We're gonna go ahead and check it here. Or, well, I am. As everyone else wants to leave. Nothing of true interest. Make it make sense. Alex Goldwyn, let's get a pet check on him really quick. It says he has a valid driver's license. Unless, um, hold on. Let's uh, get a vehicle check here. Target vehicle license plate. 6-9ers okay. Union David Adam 6 9 0 Target is 10-4. The vehicle is valid, no flags. So why did he run? <sighs> he came up in the system as um, suspended license. Okay, I don't know who this Alex Goldwyn is, uh, but the owner of the vehicle is Jacob Jobs, and he's valid, no active warrants, and the guy we just stopped... Actually, wait, hold on. Yeah, the guy we just stopped is um, this dude here, um, Jaden Clark. He's got a clean record. Valid, no active warrants. And he didn't really have anything on him. I mean, a terrorist mask, but, uh, I mean, not much we can do about that. Um, yeah, he's just gonna get a fleeing or attempt to elude law enforcement. Um, and definitely some reckless and careless driving. That's for sure. Uh, so create citations... Yeah, we'll just uh, do that for now. Submit citation. So he's got one felony charge, fleeing or attempt to elude law enforcement. I guess after a while, um, it times out of the uh, MDT, which is this little thing right here on the bottom right. Um, the ALPR is paying the vehicle that it has a suspended license, but after a short while, you know, we're on pursuit. It times out, and it goes away, so... Yeah, I, I don't know. It is what it is. Um, we'll get the vehicle towed and get prison transport for him, and we'll be on our way. Oh! <laughs> I tried to slide over my hood. If you have any ideas on that, maybe I can change um, the length of time on how long it takes for it to time out in the INI file for the MDT. So maybe I'll check that out after this episode. Uh, let's get prison transport. Requesting prison transport, West Playa Vista. Clear traffic control, Playa Vista. And, uh, we'll clear traffic control, so these crazy- Oh my god, that guy just hit a cop. Why'd you get out? Oh, he's coming to, uh, pick up. Okay, cool. But, uh, we need to stop him. And... It's not gonna be quick enough. Come on, dude, get out of the car. Get out of the car. We need to stop that SUV immediately, dude. He just hit this cop. Absolute idiot, let me tell you. 
I mean, he he's that much in, in a rush, he has to hit a cop and leave the scene. This dude is smoking dope. Looks like the vehicle is occupied times one. Show me on a traffic stop, South Rockford Drive. Requesting code two backup. Hey man, uh, Deputy Hall with Los Angeles County Sheriff's Office, can you step out of the vehicle for me? Thank you. If you could follow me in front of my vehicle here. So back there, I was conducting that investigation, um, that arrest, and uh, you hit that police officer and um, just continued driving. Um, you have an ID on you? <laughs> Let's see what this sucker come up with. All right, Mr. Daniels, sit tight with uh, this officer here. Uh, give me one second. Let's check his information here. Oh, he's got an expired driver's license. Um, no arrests, but uh, yeah. Hitting an officer. Uh, yeah, that's a problem. All right, man, so what you did, um, that's a problem. You hit a uh, officer back there and um, fled the scene. I mean, even if it's just a little nudge. I mean, it wasn't anything to really probably cause bodily injury but a little nudge and um to leave the scene is not not good at all so right now um you are going to be detained arrest, okay you piece of crap. and a, you, you're driving with a an expired license by the way well over 30 days so that's a citation right there do you have anything on you that's going to poke me stick me get some dash cam packing tape keys a pencil and a flashlight all right, man. Anything in the vehicle? Let's check. A handgun, a basketball, and a briefcase full of cocaine. There it is, dude. Honestly, I was actually kind of considering um, giving you a break um, and, and just writing a citation um, and not even bringing you in tonight or this morning. But, uh, we just found a baggie full of cocaine. So you, you think this white powder is just salt? No, dude, I've been doing this for quite some time. It's definitely cocaine, all right? That's a problem. So, um, sit tight for me. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and, uh, put you in the back of my car for right now. But right now, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say or do can and will be held against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you can't afford one, one will be appointed to you by the state of San Andreas. You understand these rights? Great. Yeah, so he had a, uh, a handgun on him, too, which um, he has no permit for. So actually, dude, um, you are going to get felony hit and run leaving scene um, pedestrian, but it's law enforcement in this case. Um, and that's a problem, dude. So um, the fact that I was even considering giving you a break on that would have been huge. I was really probably just going to uh, cite you for leaving the scene of an accident. I mean, it didn't really cause too much uh i mean you, you just nudged him but um the 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 idea that you just left the scene um that would have been the biggest break of your entire life dude let me tell you um but uh, with your possession of cocaine that's a problem dude and you got a briefcase full of it so that is possession with intent to to uh distribute and since these are all felony charges, you have unlawful possession of firearm. There are two charges typically for that. One misdemeanor and one felony. This will be a felony charge because uh, you're committing felony um, acts of crime. So so you got felony unlawful possession of firearm, felony uh, possession with intent to distribute, uh, felony possession of cocaine, and uh, yeah, felony hit and run, leaving the scene of an accident. So um, yeah three felonies dude let me tell you and uh like i've said in some of my previous episodes i'm always open to um critiques and tips or tricks um if you have any ideas on if i did anything wrong during a traffic stop uh feel free to correct me and i will definitely correct my mistakes and make it more of a better experience for you guys watching 
But now we'll get a tow truck, large flatbed truck here. Yeah, once I'm done with this episode, I have a lot to do. Um, I gotta add a new ambulance to the game. Um, I'm gonna try and download a new callout pack too, so we get some interesting callouts. Seems like we keep getting a suspicious vehicle. One Adam Six, show me in route. All right. All right, let's go ahead and see what this is all about. Dude, you see my lights? You should have stopped back there, dude. Not in the middle of the intersection. What an absolute idiot. All right. Looks like it's up here. We're going to go ahead and uh, see what it's all about. See what's going on. investigate the vehicle all right all right let's go ahead and uh, looks like there's somebody in the vehicle we'll go ahead and make contact here suspicious vehicle though requesting code two backup you know oh insta pop i mean everyone is just disappearing getting thanosed i have no idea what to make of it. I don't know where these people are going, <laughs> but almost every episode I've done, people are disappearing. All right, let's see what's going on here. Wait up! Hey, miss, how you doing? So we got reports of a uh, suspicious vehicle over here. We can speak with her, alcohol intoxication. Uh, what's going on here? Nothing is wrong, sir. I don't know why you got that idea. All right. Well, I'm getting a uh, an odor of uh, alcohol off of you. Where you, you? I mean, I know you're parked here, but you had to get here somehow. Um, let's go ahead and question her here. Have you been drinking? I drank a six pack of beer. Okay. There it is. All right. You got an ID on you? Get up. All right, uh, Jessica, thank you very much. Uh, give me one second. I'll be right back with you, okay? Why did you park there? I know, it's because they uh, pull up behind you. But it's just uh, annoying. Covering fire. Uh, there is no fire right now, dude. Uh, if there was, that would be a problem. She's valid, no active warrants. Got some citations for improper registration, ATV. Um, must not operate on roadway or shoulder, shooting from vehicle roadway. Oh my god. That was, a, that was a citation and not an arrest? Good grief, dude. All right, let's go ahead and uh, conduct a fiel, uh, field sobriety test on her. All right, Jessica, you're telling me that you drank a six-pack of beer and uh, you're sitting in your vehicle here. Um, the vehicle had to get here somehow. Um, I... So let's go ahead and uh, do a field sobriety test on her. We're going to do a horizontal gaze test. I'm going to hold a pen up to you. Just move your eyes and not your head, okay? Yep, you're drunk. Moving your head. <laughs> so she filled that. Let's go ahead and do a walk and turn. We're going to walk um, that way with one leg in front of the other and walk back to me, okay? Oh, yeah, look at that, dude. Walking. She is the walking dead. All right, Jessica, right now um, you're being placed under arrest for um, DWI, driving while intoxicated. Um, so it doesn't matter whether you're um, driving the vehicle or not. Um, if you're drinking in a motor vehicle and if your uh, blood alcohol content is above 0.08%, that is a problem. So right now you did um, fail that field sobriety test. So we're going to do a breathalyzer on you and Appreciate it. double check here. Oh my god, how are you not dead? I mean, 0.212%. Holy crap, dude. A dollar bill covered in white powder. Another terrorist mask. What the hell is going on with this? Uh, what's this uh, white powder on the dollar bill? Maybe cocaine? I'm not sure. Okay. Sit tight with her. I'm going to do a uh, narcotics field test on that. We'll have to do a drug swab test on her, too. 
So she's saying maybe cocaine. So that's what we will test it for here. Oh, it's not cocaine. Heroin? Probably meth. Yep, positive for meth. All right, well, we'll search the vehicle too. All right, a Halloween costume, several cell phones. All right. So, definitely uh, burner phones to get her drugs or something. <laughs> All right, Miss Jessica. Um, so, right now, you're being placed under arrest for uh, DWI, first offense, um, possession of methamphetamine. That's what was on that dollar bill. All right. Let me go ahead and uh, do a drug swab test on you, too, to, to rule out uh, the... Uh, Influence of narcotics. Let's see. Thanks. Yep, okay. You're clean there. But uh, again, you are being placed under arrest for those charges, okay? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say or do can and will be held against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you can't afford one, one will be appointed to you by the state of San Andreas. You understand these rights? All right. All right, so if you want to go ahead and uh, take her to... The station for booking. We will get the vehicle towed, and that will do it for this episode of LSPDFR. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to drop a like and subscribe. That would mean a lot to me. Um, I know I'm, I'm kind of late to the game doing uh, LSPDFR content. Most people do like 5M and uh, things like that. Um, maybe I will get into it someday. But uh, let's go ahead and view our court cases here. Fred Baker was our first of the day. He had um, all those felony charges. <laughs> um, fleeing or attempt to elude law enforcement, unlawful possession of a firearm, possession of methamphetamine, possession with intent to distribute, Schedule II narcotic, and felony grand theft auto. And not to mention public indecency. 19 years in prison, $9,713 uh, fined, and then his public indecency, he got fined $424. So 19 years in prison. Let's see if he takes the crown for this episode. Um, this guy here, felony uh, fleeing or attempt to elude law enforcement, and then careless, reckless driving. He was our uh, crazy pursuit um, that ended up in Playa Vista, and he got four years in prison for an attempt to elude law enforcement, and then careless driving, reckless driving, fined $561. Lewis Daniels, unlawful possession of a firearm, possession of cocaine, possession with intent to distribute, um, hit and run, leaving the scene of an accident, and expired driver's license. So for this, he got 20 years, wow! So he's taken the crown so far. He's claiming the Iron Throne from Fred Baker. Holy crap. Um, and then with this hit and run, that adds on three years. So he's up to 23 years and then expired driver's license. So yeah, he got 23 years. And then uh, our lady we just arrested for DWI and possession of methamphetamine, one year in prison. So Lewis Daniels takes the crown for this episode, 23 total years in prison. Holy smokes. Let me delete these out of here. But yeah, again, that will do it for this episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys next time. Take care.